Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have my Woolworth shop to share with you. Uh, this one is again a little bit smaller. Um, I'm shopping for a shorter week. Today is Saturday. Uh, it's the 8th, uh, I think, of October. Um, and I'm going to be doing another shop on Thursday because I'm not going to be able to shop next Saturday. We have our local sh agricultural show. It goes all of Friday, all of Saturday. I will be having a stall there with my side hustle. And so I will be doing a shop on Thursday, getting the last bits and pieces I need for that. So this is just a short is shop. My sister and her family are also coming to town. Uh, we live in a holiday destination. They're stopping here on their way over east on a bit of a couple of month um, touring around in their caravan with their kids. So we'll probably go out for tea. So this is a little bit mixed, but we have got our son home. So very happy to have him home. And school goes back on Monday. So this is what we have for you. So to start off with, uh, we're back to school lunches. So I have our piece of ham. So this one, it was $17.06. It's just over $20 a kilo and there's 832 grams. So that's hickory smoke. That will get him definitely through this week and uh, possibly into next week as well. That's the beauty of buying it like this. You buy the sliced ham and it really only lasts a few days. This one I can keep in a like a Tupperware container, slice a bit so there's some slices in there to make sandwiches and leave the other bit whole and it does last a long time. So it's very economical to buy it that way. I have bought a little bag of button mushrooms. They're a little bit bigger than button mushrooms. I think they called them cup mushrooms today, but that was what they had. They're this kind of size. We are still doing our healthy meal plans where we can. And one of my lunches this week is a frittata made with um, cherry tomatoes, mushrooms. I think it's got spring onion, maybe baby spinach or something like that in it. Um, and just, I think it's eight eggs, but it does for about half a dozen meals. So that's what we've got for this week. So I've got those and if there's any left over, I'll just pop them in our next sort of pasta sauce or something like that. Then uh, dog food. Now I did only get two. I've still got some in the fridge. So these are two, three kilos. I got the Baxter's ones. So we're back to that one. They are $5.45 each. I think the VIP ones, I think I paid $8 each and they were only 2.2 kilos. So they only did two meals. These are three kilos and they're $5.45. So that was a total of $10.90. So a little bit less on dog food this week. But like I said, I'll get to the shops again on Thursday. So I didn't want to overload too much today. The other reason is when I shop on Thursday, that'll be my extra bits for the show. And it will also be for 10 days because it'll get me through to the following Saturday. Um, and that's when I'll use my 10% discount because I being part of the extra awards program, I, you get a $10, uh, 10 once a month to use. So... I think it's up to $50 so you can do up to $500 shop so we got a litre of milk I've still got some left from last week that's still in date so I just got the one litre for $2.90 the Harvey Fresh we haven't been having a lot but Kale may decide to have cereal during the week so it'll be coffees and then cereal for him the Browns Greek style yogurt now I've been changing up my breakfast Instead of having a keto coffee if I'm in a hurry, I've been making um, like a smoothie that does actually have a bit of the Greek yogurt in it. And you make up a cup of coffee and you actually put cacao in it. Now I'm just going to grab the bag for you. Sorry, I'll just run to my pantry. I received this cacao pack in one of my boxes a little while ago. And it was Freedom Cacao... Um, and I have been using this. So I've been using coffee with a little bit of cacao and some protein powder and some Greek yogurt. And it's making a really yummy smoothie for breakfast. You can add a little bit of extra ice and make it like a frappe. So as it gets warmer, um, it's satisfying me. It's getting me through to lunch. So I'm going to do those now that it's a bit warmer. And also the other reason why I'm missing some things this week is my hubby is going back to shakes for breakfast and for lunch he has um now i'm not sure whether i can say them on youtube but they are the gender specific shakes if that makes sense and he can either take them with him if he's out on the road because he's got a fridge in his ute 
or he comes home and can make them. Um, and if he's home, he can obviously put ice in it because we've got water and ice in the door of our fridge. Um, and it can have like a frappe consistency for him as well. So there's a little bit less because I'm not going to need to worry about salads and stuff so much for him this week. So there we are for that one. And because we're back to school holiday, uh, back from school holidays, we're back to the sliced cheese for Kale's lunch. These were on special for eight dollars fifty, um, and I think it was a dollar off. I think, and the his caramel milk drink, he grabbed it off the shelf, but I think he said it was twenty percent off. It was two dollars thirty. I think they're up over three dollars normally. So we've got that one. Uh, he also wanted some yogurts. So these are the yogurts he picked this week. He came with me and the deal is that he can have certain things, but uh, he picks the things on specials. So we shop the specials, which saves not only filling the shopping cart with all these things or me saying no every half a second, we get to say, okay, you can have a yogurt, pick something and it's something that's on special. So that's what he's picked to have. So they were $3.50 and they were a good special as well. Now I make this week so it seems a little bit boring, but we are not doing all that much. So I've got the kilo of beef mints. A couple of weeks ago we did a meatloaf that was mince um, with a few ingredients and wrapped in bacon and cooked in the oven. And it was absolutely delicious. So we had... On the menu this week was the meatloaf or the pulled pork and that was also very delicious. So I gave hubby the choice of having one or the other because I knew we wouldn't need a massive amount of meals for both. So he chose meatloaf and Kale likes that too so that's what we got. That does use a kilo of mince. Then there is a Moroccan lamb dish that uses lamb mince with um, tomatoes and Moroccan spices and it has baby spinach and olives and, and things in it um tin tomatoes did I say that I think it has so that will be another meal so that's what we've got for that one um chicken oops chicken mince that was seven uh sorry that was five dollars fifty the lamb mince was seven fifty for 500 grams and the kilo of beef mince was thirteen dollars so the chicken mince is to do like little chicken burgers for lunch for me um, so I can make those up and then for tea I think tomorrow night we've got a lamb steak with a Greek salad and I've got two packs of these so these will mix and match two for $15 there's two lamb steaks in there they're 270 grams each but buying two like this was cheaper than buying a pack that had four in it so this was their special so it was $15 for two and I'm don't know for four it was either 16 or 17 dollars and they're exactly the same lamb leg steak so i just got two of those um because we'll need three of those and maybe hubby and i can have half each or i can cook one and pop it in my lunch or something like that i did get some more bacon now i've got some streaky the streaky bacon which i'll do the meatloaf with this is a short one but I might put this in the base of the meatloaf just to sort of give it a bit of a solid base in the pan. But it also just gives us some bacon to have. I've still got some Brussels sprouts left from last week. So we might do the bacon and Brussels sprouts again because that was really tasty. Shaved parmesan. Um, I'm kneading that in. I'm not sure whether that's in the frittatas this week that I'm doing or something, it was definitely on my list. So it's 250 grams, it's $6. Is a little bit more expensive, but when you look at the blocks of Parmesan and the other little packets of Parmesan cheese, this is definitely the most economical. And it's shaved, it's not grated, so it's got like the bigger pieces in there and they are really tasty. So that seems to be our usual one for that one. Now one of my usual ones that I couldn't get was my Browns Lart Sour Cream. They were $2.80 for the 200 um, mils. So I ended up getting the Buller Lart Sour Cream this time. They were $3 each. So I got six of those because this is for the show next week. And so that was $18. So that's a big chunk of my shopping uh, and I might still need some more next week but because there was no browns on the shelf I didn't want to risk this one also being out next week because I have a range of 
spice blends that I mix up into dips using sour cream and whole egg mayo for people to try them. And I need this sour cream and I use the light one because it does mean that the spice blends have a little bit more flavour. Um, and it's a little bit lighter. So I did need those. So that's what I ended up with. Now the Yogos this week, there's a strawberry, there's a chocolate, and what's this one at the back here? A vanilla. These are just the single serves, but they were all on special. I don't know what the price off was on those, but they were $1.10 each, and I know they were on special, but that was Kale's choice again. So he's got those plus the four little strawberry yogurts this week, so that will definitely get him through. We do have a little bit of neutral grain still left in the cupboard, but this massive value pack, which is 765 grams, was half price. So this was only $5 this week. So even if he doesn't use it this week, we will pop it in the cupboard and he will have that for the week after or the week after that. They have very long dates on them because they go through them very quick. So I just grabbed one of those to stick in the pantry. I needed some almond milk. Now, when I looked at what was on special, this Vita Soy Prebiotic uh, was $2 and it was about the only one. They had macadamia and oats and other ones like that, but there weren't many almond milks. So with added natural plant prebiotics, I'm not sure what the difference is, but I just needed some almond milk for some smoothies. And also next week, because I'm not quite sure what time I'm going to be eating for the show, I thought I would make up a chocolate chia pudding pop it in some containers and I'm going to have my big ARB fridge set up on the stool to keep all my dips cold. I've paid for a powered site so I'm going to also put things like um, some of the some salad things and the chocolate chia pudding just so I've got snacks throughout the day so I'm not tempted so much to go on all the horrible terrible food that you get at the shows. I know that it's great but last year or, the, or, the, or just before COVID, I'm not sure. I think it was last year. There were basic burgers that had less in them than what you got from McDonald's and they were like $20 a burger. And they're not local. They were coming from over east, so they didn't really care what their prices were. And it was just ridiculous. So I'm going to take as much food as I can to try and get us through. So I did also get these Vita Wheats. These are on special soy and linseed. They're $3.00. Now, growing up, I used to have Vita Wheats with butter and Vegemite, um, and they had little holes in them, and you could kind of, you know, squeeze little worms through them. We all did it at school. I'm not quite sure whether it's a thing everywhere, but it was certainly a thing for me. These ones don't actually have the holes in them anymore, but they still have the same kind of taste. So I was wondering whether I take some of these just to snack on or whether I do the butter and Vegemite and stick some in a container to have because that would probably, you know, give me energy and stuff as well. Um, Kale chose the mini Oreos. This is the 10 share packs of the mini ones for his lunchbox or after school or we'll take them to the show so he's got some little snacks as well. I am going to get a carton of water and I'll probably get that next week but I'll show you that next week. A few months ago we actually received the sriracha and chicken flavoured snack mix from Woolies as a bunch item. Now, if you're not um, familiar with Bunch or this is the first time you're watching me, thank you for being here for the first time. Please like and subscribe and comment. I'd love to know where you're from. So we received this one and I really did like it. It had a good mix of the noodles and the nuts and nice flavouring. It was um, had a little bit of spice but not lots. And when I was there today, these were actually half price. They've got them out on clearance. So I grabbed another one because I'm going to pop that in my show goodies for next week because um we'll probably be getting there about seven half past seven on the friday we don't finish friday night until the fireworks start at eight o'clock and then we're there uh before eight on the saturday morning until we pack up anywhere between three and five on saturday afternoon so it's a long couple of days i'm there on my own with kale helping me um he's been an absolutely massive help last year i certainly could have done it without him previous years my father used to come used to travel about five hours to come and see me and he would help me at the show but sadly we actually lost him at the show before COVID when he came to stay with us we did the show and then he passed away while he was uh, on holidays with us so we were very lucky to spend the last few days with him 
but it also meant that the show became a little bit more difficult. We had a year of COVID where we didn't have it and then Kale stepped up and said to me last year, Mum, let's do it for Grandad. He's popped on a shirt to help me and he was an absolute star. So um, it's very long days, very tiring, uh, but I certainly couldn't do it without him. So I've got enough snacks for him next week as well and we're both looking forward to it. So let's get back to what else I've got. Um, I got some almond meal. Now this is normally quite expensive. It's normally $10 for this size packet of 400 grams. They had these out on clearance for $5.75. I've got a little bit left, but I am going to need some more. So I thought I will pop this in my stockpile. It's got a best before date of March next year. So I might even grab another one of these next week. I'll just see how much I use this week. It does go into the meatloaf that we make. So instead of doing flour and breadcrumbs and all those things that you normally put in a meatloaf, this one has almond meal. So And there's muffins and things that you make with the almond meal as well. So I might end up getting some more of those. I just had a little packet of the golden walnuts. These were on clearance as well. They were marked down from $3 odd to $2.10. Uh, $2 um, and they've got quite a long date on them. They're May next year as well. So I grabbed those to stick in the pantry. Um, Kale got his favourite peach and strawberry jellies. So these weren't on special, but Woolworths brand. They're always cheap enough for $2.20. I needed a couple of can of diced tomatoes. So we just got the basic ones. These are 75 cents each. So it was $1.50 for two. Um, but sometimes I don't need quite a whole can. So those ones that might have a little bit more liquid in them than the other brands are totally fine. I uh, got my husband some more toothpaste. So he likes the Oral-B one. So I got him this one. They were um, now far out. I'm trying to think. I think they might have been half price as well because that was $5. And I think they're normally quite a lot more expensive than that. I've actually still got some toothpaste left from my um, subscription boxes. I've had two or three sort of in the last few months. So I've got those stashed away still. Uh, if you wanted to see some of the subscription boxes are open, I do playlists for all of them. And you'll be able to check them out if there's anything that you are interested in. And just because I think I'm going to need a little sweet treat next week without doing something terrible... Um, these Daryl Lee chocolate licorice balls were on special. I think they were like nearly $3 off. It was only $1.95 for a 160 gram packet. So um, I thought they would probably be quite tasty. So they will go in my bag for next week. We did get um, a packet of spaghetti. Now we haven't been having spaghetti, but this was my bunch offer this week. So if you don't know about bunch, it's through Woolworths. You can search it online. You go onto a waiting list. Sometimes it can take people up to three years to be added. But what they do is they send you an email with a particular product. This was my one this week. If you're interested in trying it, um, they actually put it onto your rewards card. So when you get to the checkout, it scans for free. Now, by doing that, it means that their only ask is that you pop a review on the Bunch website. So you try it, you review it, you be completely honest, you tell them what you love, hate about it. I've had things that have been $10, $11 that we've received. I've received um, a set of really nice glasses from Big W um, and they just came posted to me because I don't have a Big W close to me. So this is the one for this week. It was $1.65 for the packet, but I think it's actually quite a good value considering it's certified organic, it's a macro foods. So we'll try that one next time. Maybe we do that cheesy spaghetti, which we do with the jar of pesto and shredded cheese and just see how we go. So that was a freebie. So the caramel corn special this week was the share pack. I imagine Kale's probably going to go through them between now and next week. So I might even, um, don't tell him, but we might buy some extra to stash into the show bag next week. We will see how we go. Um, I also got my husband some McVitie's Digestives. These are the dark chocolate ones. He does really like those. And they're actually half price this week. $2.20. So I got him one. Um, the Smith's Share Packs. These are the 40% less sodium. Kale picked these out. He really likes these. He knows that I quite like them as well. 
and they didn't have any of the plain smiths included in the special that we could see this week so he got two of those rather than like two separate varieties um now i'll scoot you down a little bit but there's not much more left do that without trying making you dizzy so the adorable apples this is a massive bag this week so this is the two kilo bag but it's only got seven apples in it they are huge so the adorable apples are or the odd bunch is um i'm not sure what the coles version is but they're just sort of the imperfect ones like the ones that are maybe a little bit odd shape or not quite the right size but these apples are delicious they are huge when you cut them you've got so much flesh it's sweet and it's juicy so we really do like those and they were five dollars ninety but i know we're going to eat them all so we've got those uh, we've got out we're back to our mini carrots again this week because kale does put those in his lunch so that's 500 grams for a dollar 80 and buying being quite small like that i mean there's quite a few in there for the 500 grams he can put one of the or two of those in his lunch with a cuke um, and that's a good snack for him to take to school so the cukes were three dollars fifty and then the cucumbers have been terrible to try and find. So I managed to get two of the odd bunch ones. One's got a really skinny end on it and one's short and fat. They were $2.30 each. But I think they might have been nearly $3 last week when I got them. So I've got two of those, $4.60 in total. We needed some baby spinach. Um, the 120 gram bag for $3.00 was probably the best looking one. It might not quite be enough this week, but we're just gonna make that do because the bigger bags for $5 look like they were starting to go a bit manky down the bottom. You know how it kind of all sort of sticks to the bag and things, whereas this kind of look quite still loose and stuff. So I just got that one and we'll just make that one do. And Kale wanted his bean sheets. These were $2.40 but he will stick some of those in his lunchbox with a carrot and cuke and some of these and some snow peas. So the snow peas were on special this week. They're 250 grams and they were $5.50. I've got a feeling they were in the $7 last time I bought them. Um, so that would be a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, so they were definitely good. So $5.50, happy to have those. I did get myself some spinach and feta scrolls. I thought they would do for your warming up with a bit of butter or in the air fryer for lunch. And they were on clearance for $2.21, reduced from $3.50. And then we've got some mini chop chip muffins. So these retail for $4.25. Because I am part of the Woolworths Rewards Extra program, which you pay about $60 a year, but you get extra points. That's where you get your 10% off one shop once a month. And because Woolies is our only option here, I just pick my biggest shop. If I know I'm gonna do one that's up over $300, well, that's $30 off. So, and it's costing me $60 a year. So it's madness not to be a part of it. You also get three times the points on your shopping which means you accumulate your 2,000 points to get your extra $10 a lot quicker. And every now and then, they throw a freebie in. So this was the freebie for us for this. I'm not sure whether it's this month, but it's about a month since I've had one. So these are normally $4.25. It's an eight pack, 320 grams. And these were the chocolate chip muffins, but you could have got, um, I think the double chop, I think there was blueberry, and I'm not sure where they were plain. There was heaps of different varieties. So Kay will pick those because he'll be the one that'll eat them. And the only bread that I got this week was the extra soft white loaf um, because Kay will have his sandwiches. Now, this is the great big one. So this is the 800 grams. The other loaves of bread are only 680, and that's quite a small slice. But I haven't been able to get the bigger ones lately. So they were both here, so Kale decided on the bigger ones, and that was $3.50. I think the 680 ones were $2.50. So we got that one, so that'll do him for sandwiches for this week, and he'll probably have French toast for breakfast because I've still got some eggs left from last week. So that was my total shop. It is, um, yeah, a little bit different than what we've had, but that will definitely get us through. I spent a lot less than I also normally do. It was $210.19 today. 
Um, my savings were actually $42.70 and my points didn't get me up to my next 2000 So I'm still sitting at a total spend of $360 for Christmas because I accumulate all those $10 and they open them up on the 1st of December for us to spend. So you can use the $10 as you accumulate it, um, but I actually add it all together and keep it all for Christmas time, because that just helps us. <coughs> oh, sorry. And so um, I've actually got the three times points as well. So it didn't tell me how many points I got for being three times the points, but yeah, I did have a total uh, points this time of 630 so which is pretty good so that's what i've got in my shop today thanks for watching like subscribe comment let me know what you're into or what you like to buy have you got specials that you look out for as well we're quite remote um, actually 800 kilometers from perth we do have woolies we've got some igas but because they're open weekends they tend to be quite pricey so I tend to do a one shop. There are three of us in the family, my husband, my son and myself, and we've got two German shepherds, hence the dog food. And so that's it for us. So I hope you've all been having a great day. Until next time, take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.